Assalamualaikum and hi. We are from group number 4. In this video, we will present to you our ping pong launcher and show you how we solve the calculation from the given task. For task, the purpose of the task is to the study the properties of project time motion. Besides that, besides task given need us to apply the Hood's law which state that the force F needed to extend or compress a spring by some distance at scale linearly with respect to the to that distance, which is Fs equal Ks, where K is a constant factor characteristic of the spring in bracket stiffness. From the motion of a ping pong ball projected horizontally. The initial velocity and time taken of the ping pong ball to travel from point A to point B can be determined by calculation from the range and angle. Then, by using conserva conservation of energy concept, V0 plus T0 equal V1 plus T1. Spring allocation can be obtained. Because springs are used in this launcher, we need to determine the K value for the springs. Springs that we use in this launcher has unknown value of K. So, based on Hooke's law equation, F equals to Kx, where F is the force exerted on the spring, K is the spring's constant, and X is the elongation. An experiment is run. In order to get the K value for these springs, the experiment started with the springs carrying load with different weight. So the original length of the springs is note 0.03 meter. For the first load 0.5 kilogram, the length of the springs is 0.047 meter. Next, we use 1 kilogram load and the length we get is 0.071 meter. So after we use 1.5 kilogram, the length of the spring is 0.090. We use 2 kilogram load, then the length is 0.110 meter. Lastly, we use 2.5 kilogram load and we get the length of the springs is 0.14 meter. After we collected the data for the experiment, then we need to calculate the elongation of the spring and the force. How to get the elongation of the spring? To get elongation of the spring, we need to subtract the length of the spring with load and the original length of the spring. To find force, we need to multiplying the weight of the load with 9.81. As we can see in this graph, we have table 1, which is table force and elongation. All the data calculated is inset in this table. A graph of force versus elongation is plotted based on the experiment. Springs constant K is represented by the gradient of the graph which is can be obtained from the equation of the graph y equal to 216.44x plus 1.3772 so in the end we get the springs constant k is equal to 216.44 newton per meter projectile launcher feature for the projectile launcher fracture, the component that we use is stopper, spring, stand, platform, PVC pipe and injection mechanism. All of these components have their own function. For example, stopper we use to prevent the launcher from moving accidentally. Stand used to adjust the angle of projection. We also use PVC pipe as the main body of the launcher because it has hollow that allow to put the ping pong ball and launcher mechanism inside. For the ejection mechanism, it works when the ejection launcher is being pulled, then released to project the ping pong ball out from the pipe.
Now, let's watch the video of the working launcher that we have provided. But first, we need to know that the ping pong ball was launched from launcher at head of 6.1 cm to achieve the 1.5 meter range. Here is the result from the experiment. The picture on the right show the ping pong ball touches the 1.5 meter line and the angle of projection measure is 10.1 degree. Now let's look at the calculation. The purpose of the calculation is to find the V initial and time taken for the ping pong ball to travel from point A to point B. The range is 1.5 meter and the angle obtained from the experiment is 10.1 degree. Let's look at the free body diagram here. The launch, the launcher is placed on 6.1 cm platform and launched for the ping pong ball to travel horizontally until it achieves 1.5 meter. The angle obtained from from this experiment is 10.1 degree. At at as this component, which is positive to the right, we can get we can use this equation which is f final equal to s naught plus v naught times cos theta times t then we replace the s final with 1.5 meter and s initial as 0 and theta as 10.1 degree then we we arrange the equation until we get this t equal to 1.5 over v naught times theta time cost 10.1 theta this is the first equation for y axis component which is upward is positive we use this equation which is s final is equal to s naught plus v naught times t plus half acceleration times t square then we substitute the unknown with the known value which is s final is zero S initial is 0 0.061 plus V naught times sin theta times T plus half times negative G because the gravitational force is toward down times T square. Then we rearrange the equation. Then we get 0 0.061 plus V naught times sin 10.1 degree times T equal to half 9.81 times t square this is the second equation after that we need to substitute equation 1 into equation number 2 by replacing t with 1.5 over v initial times cos 10.1 degree then we solve the equation and got the velo initial velocity is 5.8902 meter per second after that we need to substitute v initial into equation number one like this 1.5 over 5.8902 times cos 10.1 degree then solve the equation we got the time taken for the ping pong ball to travel 1.5 meter horizontally 0 0.2587 second now let's find the spring elongation x on the previous slide we have known that initial velocity of the spring is 5.8902 meter per second and the mass of the ping pong ball is 2.7 gram or 0 0.0027 kilogram we also obtain the spring constant from a simple experiment which is 216.44 newton per meter but for our launcher we use two springs so we need to double up the spring constant to become 432.88 newton per meter by using conservation of energy equation we know that total of initial potential and kinetic energy is equal to total of final potential and kinetic energy since there is no kinetic energy at initial we can cancel out the t naught as well as v1 because there is no potential energy when the ping pong ball is in motion then there here is the left here is vo equal to t1 
by using potential spring equation which is 1 over 2 kx square equal to 1 over 2 mv square then the, the equation will be like this then solve the equation and we got the answer of the spring elevation is 1.47 cm the elevation for both spring then to find elongation for each spring we need to divide by 2 and we got the answer as 0.735 cm